Good morning, boys and girls. Come join us for circle time. Find a spot on the carpet, and we'll start with our calendar song. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the 12 months of the year. We're on the fifth month, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five, May. So we have May up here. Now let's find out the date. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Say the date together. Today is May 7th, 2020. Let's do the days of the week song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now we can look up. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. And if yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, tomorrow will be Friday. Should I have to do it? No. <laughs> the, the season is spring. The weather is sunny, but it is cool today. Maybe it's only gonna be 64, I think the high, so you probably need a sweater all day. We're talking about Mother's Day and what we can do for Mother's Day. We're also working on being patient, which means repeat after me, wait your turn, listen while others are speaking, don't interrupt, be understanding when others make mistakes. We're also doing uh, the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentle, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. The fruit of the spirit. Today's story is the night before Mother's Day. By N Natasha Wing and illustrated by Amy Woomer. "'Twas the night before Mother's Day, when as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out of the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pal soon would be there. Then out in the yard, there rose quite a crowd. "'Come on, let's go, girl!' her friends shouted real loud. So mom, in her sweatsuit and her red baseball cap, plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Away to the kitchen, we flew like a flash, as if we were running a 100-yard dash. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops, way too much splatter. We made fancy cards, adding our I love yous and a special coupon that mom sure could use. When mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What did I miss, she asked. Nothing, dad said with a wink. We children then nestled all snug in our bed while visions of mom danced in our head. The next morning, we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day. She read both of our cards and after wiping her eyes said a private spa session. What a lovely surprise. We took mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders, we massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled, you kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her hair. Then we dabbed on a mud mask, no mess anywhere. I painted her nails with glittery fun. A top coat of polish, voila, manicure done. 
Dad said the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. So Mom hurried off to go and get dressed. We took seats at the table, behaving our best. When what to our wondering eyes should appear but the perfect model for Mother of the Year. Her eyes, how they sparkled, her brown hair, how curly. Her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom, and that's not a boast. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. The end. Oh, we didn't do our pledge. Let's do that to end our session today. Put your right hand up, cross it over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for coming. See you later.